Good morning, and welcome to what I believe is called the Mogollon Rim. Uh, this is where people from Phoenix go if they want to get out of the heat uh, for a few days. Um, I think the highs up here today are going to be about mid 80s. Uh, lows were about 60 degrees last night, so it's pretty perfect. I'm at a campsite right now that I have wanted to stay at for a while. I saw it on another YouTuber's video and marked it on GPS. And since then, I've just been waiting for the uh, opportunity to come up here. And uh, here we are. Um, I got kind of worried that someone was up here because I could see fresh tire tracks on the trail, but uh, it looks like someone just came up here, turned around and, and left because there was nobody here when I got here. So I didn't film anything yesterday on the way out here because I was uh, racing the uh, daylight. I uh, didn't really have the time to you know, stop and film anything. What we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna go back to the main trail, which is uh, FR 300, I believe is Rim Road. And that will go for like 45 miles to the east and meet back up with Highway 260 east of Payson. Um, I'm going to finish packing up here and uh, we'll hit the truck.
All right, well, came to the end of this trail hoping to get an overlook of Knoll Lake. And as you can see, there is not really any view of the lake. Um, I can kind of see it a little bit between the trees, but uh, there's no like grand view. So kind of a bust on this one. So I'm going to start heading back out, get back out to the main trail and we'll uh, keep going on the rim road. So as you can see, the Apache Sitgraves National Forest has freshly paved the road from Highway 260 up to this point. My advice if you plan on checking out this area is to stick to the west side of the rim within the Coconino National Forest boundaries. Uh, there tend to be less people, campsites are more spread out, and in my opinion just has a better overall feel to it. So that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll catch you in the next one.